Hello everyone, hoping everyone is having a good one. If you are new here and end up enjoying today's content, make sure you hit that like button and red subscribe button before you leave. You can also follow me on all social medias at Blade Miss. And if you're looking for some more MOB The Show content, you can click on the channel name, click on videos, and see if we have anything that suits your interest. Now let's get back into some of the user suggested players. We got Walker Bueller to start it off. And let's look at his averages compared to his 2019 numbers. So his three-year average for hits per nine is 6.53. His 2019 is 6.91. It's a little bit worse, but it's actually not a bad hit per nine at all. While his 2019, it being closer to seven, gives that 79 overall or what he currently has. It gives it a decent value that doesn't really have room for improvement unless he brings it down a little bit more and brings it closer to six than seven. Then we look at K's per nine. He has a three year average of a 9.94 K per nine. This year it's a 9.18. It being a 78 overall, it makes sense. Maybe it has the room for improvement to go up to an 80, but a 78 overall is perfectly fine for him as well. Then we look at his walks per nine. His three year average is a 2.70. This year it's a 1.42. Now that is the biggest change and that's where he has the most room for improvement. I believe that can go all the way up to 75, but that only being upgraded will not push him over to diamond. Let's look at his home runs per nine. Three year average, it's a .86. This year he has a .87, so .01 higher than his three year average. It being a 65 might be a little bit too low and maybe he has two, three points that could go in there as well. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to tell you is 83 overall is not too bad for Walker Bueller. I would say diamond potential would mean that he has to have a couple of more outings where he strikes out a lot more hitters than he currently is and he minimizes the amount of hits against him and he strikes out a lot more hitters while continuing to have such a low walk rate. That would absolutely push him over to diamond, but if I had to give him a percentage, I'd go ahead and give him a 45% chance of actually going diamond. I say that gold is probably his end tier, unless he starts really heating up, and if he does start getting really hot, you can make sure that he will be on this channel as soon as he gets really hot, and I'll be one of the first to let you all know to go ahead and invest in him. Now we got two hitters to look at as well out of the user suggested players. The first one is Whit Merrifield. Now looking at his three year averages versus lefties, he hits 302 slugs 519. This year he's currently hitting 234 slugging 532 so the only real change right there is his power versus left. And then versus right handers he has an average of 295 slugging a 439. This year he's hitting 330 slugging 488. So what I do see happening to him is he's definitely going to get that contact versus left negated down some. And the power versus left is going to be increased maybe by a couple of points. His contact versus right is going to be increased. And then his power versus right is going to be increased as well. Now, does he have diamond potential? It's a similar situation to Walker Bueller where I say gold is most likely end tier. And I'd give him the same percentage of 40% chance to actually go diamond just because he's not known for power and the fact he's struggling so hard against left handers is going to really hurt him at the end of the day because a 98 contact versus left it's going to be diminished greatly if he does get upgraded since they will need to balance his stats out to reflect them correctly as he is performing in real life last but not least we have daniel vogelbach or vogelbach i'm not sure how to pronounce it hopefully i did an all right jab job of it Anyways, his three-year averages are versus left-handers, he's hitting 118, slugging 224. This year, he's currently hitting 135, slugging 269. Both of them are horrible, and they're on par with his average, so he has no room for improvement when it comes to his contact versus left or power versus left. Now, looking at his numbers versus right-handers, his three-year averages are 275 in terms of average, 547 in terms of slugging. This year, he's hitting 293, slugging 629. So his contact versus right could see some points since it's about, I want to say 18 points higher than his three year average. So maybe three to five points is sufficient for it. And then his power versus right definitely has a lot more room for improvement. And I say maybe five to 10 points somewhere along that range is what's for him. Now, does he have the potential to go silver? I want to say that it is quite possible due to the fact that there are a lot of platoon hitters that actually go silver. 
but his fielding does not help him out a lot. So with the fielding boost, definitely 100% he will go silver, but just by his hitting stats, it's going to take him a while, but he does have the potential of going silver just by constantly getting his hitting upgraded anyways hope you all enjoyed the video make sure you guys comment down players below if you guys want me to review them hit that like button and red subscribe button follow me on all social medias at blade miss and as always i'll catch you all in the next one peace out